an austere funeral, quite different from the usual grand ceremonies often given to former heads of state. The faces of those taking part here are covered due to COVID-19 restrictions. Mourners were not allowed to get close. But the burial of the ashes of the 15th president of the Philippines went ahead in a dignified and solemn service. President Benigno Aquino died at the age of 61. A life cut short, many say, but one that was also dedicated to the service of others. This was a man whose family has been at the forefront of politics in the Philippines for almost four decades. His parents are widely regarded as champions of democracy who fought for freedom and justice during the martial rule of former President Ferdinand Marcos. When his mother died, Aquino was propelled into the presidency. Members and many the regard the period under his leadership as one of decency and dignity. We are fortunate to have had a president that embodied our highest aspirations. But the task remains. Pinoy, your death has a special message for all of us. This death comes in the wake of a new political era. Even as it claims in the last bodies. few years of his life after he stepped down from office in 2016, President Aquino withdrew from the public eye. He endured his illness in private and remained silent despite repeated verbal attacks against him and his opposition party by President Rodrigo Duterte and his supporters. People here tell us his funeral was a simple fitting farewell to a once reluctant president who soon came into his own and served his country well. His ashes, buried not at the hero's cemetery where former heads of state are usually brought, but alongside his parents, as he wished. President Benigno Aquino lived simply, without much fanfare, and many Filipinos are yearning for his kind of leadership once again. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.